Hey everyone, Kai Hatsu here. Well, it's that spooky time of year again, which means that I've got to cover something that's at least tangentially related to ghosts or spirits or something. So here is a interesting little culture theory that I've been sitting on for about a year. Super Mario 3D World is a game that you wouldn't expect to hide anything creepy or sinister underneath its bright exterior. But there's one enemy which I believe is derived from a type of yokai or Japanese spirit. These weird pink things are apparently called blurkers, and they're what I'm focusing on today. They remind me of a Japanese yokai called Mokumokuren. Mokumokuren are swarms of eyes that supposedly appear on old and torn shoji doors, but they can also be found in tatami floor mats and just in general walls. Their name literally translates to many eyes or continuous eyes. The Mokumokuren is considered by the Japanese to be one of the traditional inhabitants of haunted houses, and the only way to remove the spirit from a wall is to patch up the holes in it. Now, there's quite a few interesting stories surrounding the Mokumokuren, as there is with most yokai, but here are just two of them. A stingy traveling merchant once tried to save money by sleeping in an abandoned house, rather than sleeping in an inn. Waking in the middle of the night, he was confronted by an entire shoji screen staring down at him. Instead of becoming scared, he removed the eyeballs from the screen and sold them to a local eye surgeon. In another story, a traveler was determined to remain in the same house as a mokumokuren, attempting to ignore it by wrapping tightly around his head the blanket which he had been sleeping beneath. When he awoke, he discovered that his eyeballs had been removed, and were nowhere to be found. Perhaps his eyes had joined those already entombed within the Mokumokuren. Going back to these blurkers, apart from their square appearance, which is similar to the panels on shoji screens, their Japanese name is quite similar to that of the Mokumokuren. The name of blurkers in Japanese is Mokumoko which is an onomatopoeia for something being fluffy or soft, but it sounds a lot like Mokumoku. Blurkers often hide secret areas within the game, and apart from a few select ways of getting rid of them, they are pretty much indestructible, much like the Mokumokuren themselves. So, what do you think? Are the Blurkers based on Mokumokuren? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go, I want to share with you the results of the last poll, where 57% of you voted against Bowsette being made an official character. Also, in another quick note, I'm looking to hit my $10 Patreon goal, as now that I'm at university, I'm editing on my laptop, which is currently more tedious than it should be because I can't sync my video resource library, so I'm looking at paying for a better cloud service where I can sync my 200GB plus stuff over the internet, which will allow me to make videos much more quickly and efficiently. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching.